Hello everyone, welcome to APRA Society online classes. My name is Fani Kumar and I am working as TGT Science in API School, Appal Rajagudam, West Kodawa District. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the lesson Fun with Magnets, second part. So in this video lesson, we are going to discuss about some some concepts. So first con first concept is making your own magnet. Making your own magnet. So in last class we studied about uh, the fundamental concepts of uh, magnets. Those are magnetic and non-magnetic substances and uh, attractive property of magnet and directive property of magnet. We also learnt uh, in our in our previous class. So in this class we have to discuss about the topic making your own magnet. <coughs> can you prepare your own magnet? Yes, you can prepare your own magnet. So do you know how to prepare your own magnet? Let's discuss. So for this purpose you have to take one iron nail. You have to take one iron nail and one bar magnet also. One bar magnet. That means this is a bar magnet and this is north pole and this is south pole and this is south pole then you have to take this iron nail like this and rub this iron nail with this bar magnet like this you have to rub this iron nail with this bar magnet such that north pole points uh, at this uh, point or choose any point on the nail but <coughs> You have to rub this uh, iron nail with this bar magnet like this in one direction only. If you moving in that in this direction, you have to move in this direction only. So like this. So don't uh, come in another direction. You have to come in this direction only. So not not pole points at this point of the iron nail. So just like this, just like this. But you do not uh, enter into this direction. So you have to rub this magnet like this direction only then repeat this process about uh, 50 to 100 times then this iron nail becomes uh, behaves as a magnet in this way you can prepare your own magnet just go into the activity dear students in this video we are going to take one activity that is uh, making your own magnet so apparatus for this activity or iron needle and bar magnet and iron fillings so before magnetizing this iron needle does it attract uh, iron fillings no this iron needle does not attract does not attract the iron fillings why because this is not a magnet so we have to we have to magnetize this needle using this bar magnet so chodandi so this is the north pole of the bar magnet this is the north pole of the bar magnet so rub the iron needle with this bar magnet such that this north pole points at this point of the needle and take care that the direction is not changed so rub like this one time two time three time four times five times just uh, repeat this activity about uh, 50 or 100 times 1, 2, 3, just like this upon rubbing this uh, magnet don't uh, don't rub the iron nail with uh, opposite direction in opposite direction so you have to rub the iron iron needle in this direction only Okay, just like this. Repeat this activity for about 50 or 100 times. Then the needle is magnetized. More times you rub the iron needle, then needle has more strength. Okay? So take this uh, needle, it behaves like a magnet, just uh, test this needle with the iron fillings. 
so if it is only a needle it uh, does not attract iron filings so here it is uh, rubbed with ma magnet and it behaves like a magnet so just uh, look is it attracts iron filings or not yes it it appears like a magnet watch this this needle attracts iron filings okay so this needle this needle becomes as a magnet okay so if you rub this needle in iron fillings see what happens observe this what happens so as this is a as this becomes a magnet and it has two poles north pole and south pole observe this this needle observe this and this needle has two points where the magnetic field intensity is more so these two points are or poles these two points are known as poles so the magnetic pole strength is more at these two points and that's why these two are called magnetic poles in this way we can magnetize the needle using the magnet and our next topic is making your own compass do you know how to prepare your own compass let's go into the details so to make your own compass take one magnetizing needle take one magnetizing needle suppose this is the magnetizing needle this is the magnetizing needle and fix this needle to one uh, cork or paper strip so just like this okay this is the pap this is the needle and this is the paper you have to mark this uh, paper north direction south direction east direction west direction like this and take one glass of water take one glass of water so this is glass and pour some water to it and <coughs> place this uh, paper strip along with needle into the water so on the surface of water you will get the north and south directions of earth by this needle so this needle shows the north and south directions of earth as this is the magnet in this way we can prepare our own magnetic compass so let's go into the activity students in this activity we are preparing our own compass for this activity the apparatus required are one beaker and one magnetizing needle and a glass of water first pour the water into the beaker up to the brim as as like this okay and after that place the magnetizing needle on the surface of the water then this magnetizing needle shows uh, north and south directions of earth so it rotates and rotates and come into rest position showing north and south directions of earth so watch this so look at this picture so this magnetizing needle come into rest position and showing north and south directions of earth just like this this is the north direction and this is the south direction in this way we can we can find the directions of earth so this is the north direction this is the south direction okay if you move the beaker then also this magnetic needle shows north and south directions of earth just like this watch this the needle rounds and rounds till it reaches north and south directions of earth okay just like this in this way we can prepare our own compass and our next topic is magnetic induction magnetic induction so magnetic induction means if you take two iron safety pins so this is one safety pin 
and this one is another safety pin this is another safety pin and take one bar magnet take one bar magnet you have to take one bar magnet and take this safety pin nearer to the bar magnet then what happens this safety pin is attracted by this magnet just like this okay and after that take a another safety pin nearer to the first step first safety pin and it is also attracted by this uh, safety pin this property is known as magnetic induction without this magnet these two safety pins are not attracting each other so here there is a magnet and due to this magnet this safety pin behaves as a magnet this property is known as magnetic induction that means the magnetic property induced or the magnetic property possessed by this magnetic substance due to the presence of uh, this magnet near near to it is known as magnetic induction that means the magnetic property possessed by the magnetic substance due to the presence of uh, this magnet near to it is known as magnetic induction let's go into the definition magnetic property magnetic property possessed by the magnet possessed by the magnetic substance by the magnetic substance due to the presence of due to the presence of magnet near to it near to it is called magnetic induction magnetic induction okay okay like this way <coughs> magnetic induction can be explained students let's go for an activity that is uh, magnetic induction for this activity the apparatus required are bar magnet iron screw and and one bolt okay first you have to take one bar magnet and take the take it nearer to the iron pin uh, iron screw then it is it is attracted by the magnet okay just like this so and take the iron bolt nearer to the iron pin so it attracts the iron bolt why what's the reason even though the screw is not a magnet it attracts iron bolt so this is due to magnetic induction so magnetic induction means the magnetic property possessed by this uh, magnetic substance due to the presence of magnet near to it is known as magnetic induction magnetic induction means magnetic property possessed by this uh, screw by means of uh, this magnet nearer to it is called magnetic induction okay so this is the definition magnetic property possessed by the magnetic substance due to the presence of magnet near to it is called magnetic induction okay just like this magnets lost their properties if they are heated or are dropped from certain height or when hammered to keep them safe bar magnets should be kept in pairs with their unlike poles on the same side they must be separated by a piece of wood and two pieces of soft iron should be placed across their ends magnets are used in our daily life so magnets are used in speakers and magnets are used in small electric motors and magnets are used in some door locks and bags and in some toys and in compass in pencil boxes stickers on refrigerators phone covers pin holders and magnetic crane and this magnetic crane is used to separate iron pieces from the uh, waste material okay
magnetic levitation trains are best examples of applications of magnets and these ma in these magnetic uh, levitation trains the wheels of these uh, trains the wheels of these trains are not uh, touched to the rail track this is one of the best examples of applications of magnets So in this class, we studied about the topics making your own magnets and making your own, own magnetic compass and magnetic induction and uses of magnets. So homework for you is uses of magnets. What are the uses of magnets in your daily life which you observe in your, in your surroundings? You have to write it on the note paper. Okay, right.